Welcome back to Welshman Chibol Gamer, and today we're having an unboxing and review of this Agatha Fox Reaper Bones Range miniature. Now this is the first in my five minute review video, so I'm going to try and speak quite quickly to get across what I want to say. Well the first thing is it comes in one of these clamshells and she was £2.49 which is comparable to a WizKids miniature and a very good price. So she was a uh, Reaper Bones, which unlike most Reaper Bones, this one is a, of the grey plastic, which I more associate with uh, the Reaper Bones black range, but she isn't advertised as such, so take from that what you will. So first of all, the details look really nice and clean, and it doesn't appear soft at all. The face has nice detail, and the sculpt is really nicely done, and I like the pose. There are some extremely fine mould lines on her leg by here, but I'm going to leave them alone and I'm going to paint her and we're going to see how much they show up afterwards. The base is textured in the paving stone style, which is okay. I would have rather it be bare so I can blend it in a bit better, but not too bad. So she's bendy like most Reaper Bones. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing, as with the occasional banging around, she won't get too badly damaged. So first of all, she took paint very well and had good enough details to apply washes and to use dry brush to good effect. So yeah, that was really good. You know, the, the detail wasn't too smooth. It was nicely um, detailed to capture all those things you need to capture. Her face and expression and features are clearly defined and visible as you can see and it doesn't look like a blank mess. At the back the, I like the little detail of the pistol tucked behind her handbag. That's nice to see. Uh, I didn't remove the mold line as you can see on her left leg and you can barely see it. It's there but it's, it's pretty small so I don't think you're going to have to worry about it. All in all, my thoughts as a painter painting this miniature is that she was really nice and easy to do and I can get some quite nice effects from some fairly easy paint jobs. So over to scale comparison, and here is our Agatha Fox. So we'll start off with the smallest female miniature I have, which is this WizKids um, female halfling. And as you can see, her height is pretty small and pretty, pretty tiny. And she fits up pretty well, I think, compared to her. So our next up is our Frostgrave female fighter. And as you can see, she's starting to get a little bit small. But I guess she's a fighter, so maybe that's why she's a bit bigger and a bit burlier. So this is a hassle-free miniature. And as you can see, she starts getting quite a bit taller. And this is why I'm feeling that maybe this one is meant to be a um, maybe an adolescence as opposed to a fully grown adult. And here against the Zombicide zombie miniature. Again, she's quite small. And then here, finally, we have a, a Mantic Star Saga uh, female scientist. And as you can see, she's towering above her and she's quite a bit burlier. And really, really to show off size difference in miniature manufacturers. Here is one of the Escher gang members. And as you can see, yeah. yeah down a little bit she is massive compared to her but this is the thing with different manufacturers and different miniatures yeah generally speaking as my final thoughts for this miniature is I think she's well worth the money she's a cheap miniature she's um, in a nice pose she's nicely made she's taken paint well my only downside is is the scale, but that's always going to be, I think, a problem a little bit with Reaper Bones and Reaper Miniatures because they have so many different sculptors. They don't actually seem to follow the same scale when they're scu uh, sculpting their miniatures. So there is this slight uh, variation in sculpt sizes. But overall, I'm really pleased with this miniature and I think she turned out really quite well. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, Maybe uh, leave a like if you feel in that way, and if you're feeling kind, perhaps even subscribe to my channel. So until next time, this has been Welsh Miniature Board Gamer. Goodbye.